feeling hungry, Abu Danza. If you think you're feeling lucky, Abu Danza. Feeling hungry, feeling lucky, Abu Danza with Nicky Luparelli. Abu Danza, Abu Danza, Abu Danza with Nicky Luparelli. Abu Danza with Nicky Luparelli. Abu Danza with Nicky Luparelli. Hi, I'm Nikki Luparelli, and welcome to my show, Abu Bdanza. It's a cooking show, and it's a drinking show. It's both. And today we're going to make mussels fra diavolo, which is Italian and means from the devil. So I need my grandmother's recipe, and for that I need magic. Magic! Hey, and here's the recipe. Oh, beautiful. All right, what are we making? Mussels. So we need mussels love mussels. We also need tomato, you know, Italian vegetables, we need white wine, and we need linguine. We have to go get those things. So while we do that, why don't you make a drink and we'll be right back. Yay! Well, we're on our way to Federal Hill in beautiful downtown Providence to pick up our ingredients for our special mussels fra diavolo. So come with us and you can drink while I drive. <laughs> We're about to go into Tony's Colonial Foods. I'm hoping that Tony has everything that I need tonight. <laughs> this looks like fresh. Um, it's a fettuccine, it's a spinach fettuccine, which I think will go very nicely and give us a little bit of vegetable. Like if you're trying to find real Italian stuff, I always look for stuff that doesn't have like a crazy American label on it. Like this is obviously a foreign label. It doesn't have any like, look at my tomato face. So um, today I'm making mussels fra diavolo. I just have fettuccine and olive oil and tomato paste. And I know I need, I just want like some kind of delicious cheese. Oh look, and they have almost everything else here. They have onions, they have tomato, they have basil. Um, we're going to have to do very little shopping. One Italian song. I'll do. I do the cielo luna mezza mare, mamma mia, me mare tari. Bravo, bravo. Oh, thank you. Grazie. <laughs> well, we got almost everything we need from Tony's Colonial Market. I didn't meet Tony, but I sang an Italian song at Brad, so that was awesome. And I got some free cheese. Uh, next, we're gonna get some mussels and some white wine. Hey, there's a liquor store right there. Let's check it out. Federal Hill Liquors. That's gotta be some Italian, Italian guys. Man, they really give me a sample of some amaretto, huh? I'm making mussels fra diavolo. I need a cup of white wine. I was told not to cook with Chardonnay or anything too oaky. I don't think Pinot Grigio is very oaky. I think, and I like to drink it, and that's also very important to me when cooking is whether or not I like to drink it. So I'm gonna get this. We're gonna pour this into the mussels, and I'm gonna make some white trash cocktails, which is white wine in a tumbler with ice, and that's what we're gonna drink, and it'll be great. <laughs> Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Now I get the white wine, all we need are the mussels. Look at my gloves. Let this be a reminder of how dirty money is. Wash your hands, everybody. Ugh. <laughs> Here we are at Captain's Catch Seafood in beautiful North Providence, Rhode Island. I'm gonna get some mussels. Can I have two pounds of mussels, please? I'm making mussels fra Diablo for my little show today. What is this? What is this? That's a snail? Yep, that's a whole conch. A conch. It looks like a lady part. I'm not going to say which one. <laughs> that would be impolite. 
Smelt. My grandmother used to eat smelts, but I thought it was like a tuna melt. It's not, is it? No. Who is buying clam juice? Is this for soup? Do you ever get any of these squid and they're still moving around? Captain Stuffed Lobster Tails, $6.99 each. Fellas, if you want to get laid by a chick, you bring home two of these, $6.99 each, and you make this for your lady love. And you make lobster tails, and you will get some tail. I promise. That is a great deal. I knew I'd get something free here. I got free parsley. <laughs> I just paid $5 for two pounds of mussels and I got free parsley. Abubdaza! <laughs> if it didn't smell like fish, I'd live here. Did you hear that? You like us, you call us. I like that in a fish market. You know, in Rhode Island, they call them fishmongers, but I'm not going to call that to his face. He gave me free ice, though, so I got free parsley and free ice. <laughs> Let's go cook. <laughs> Hey, we're back! So I need to do things with tomatoes. I have here a very fresh tomato and what I want to do is first I want to cut up its face because that way I can sit on the table like that and I won't cut myself. But before I do that, I want to give you Mr. Tomato Face. Mr. Tomato Face is how my grandfather used to always serve us tomatoes. So here he is, Mr. Tomato Face. Hey Nikki, what are you cooking today? Oh, Mr. Tomato Face, I'm making mussels fra diablo. Oh, that sounds great. Oh, I don't feel so good. Blah. We get the seeds out that way. So I'm gonna cut this tomato up. Um, Mr. Tomato Head did not feel very good today. But we're gonna cut him up. And what we're gonna do also is I'm gonna mash some garlic. You're gonna wanna mash some garlic for this. I've got my mortar and pestle. You can use this for garlic, or if you're like an angry witch and you have a boyfriend that you want to like mess with, you need a more pestle because you're going to be mashing up some stuff. As you can see, I already have my wine, which is very important for cooking. And whatever is left over, it's a little over a cup, this is what we're going to cook with. Now normally you'll get a fresh mussel and he'll be like this guy and he'll be totally clean. But sometimes one with a beard will sneak through. So let me find you one with a beard. Oh, look at this guy's beard. That's a muscle beard. It's not Movember. We don't want the mustache, but we have to get this beard off. And you just kind of pull it towards you and you just, you just get that beard off. You say, no, I like my muscles clean shaven. No beard. Get that beard off. So we be these are all bearded. These are all ready to go. They're soaking in some salt water. I made the mistake. A lot of people say to soak your mussels in uh, cornmeal, and I've done that, and it is good. But sometimes they act like it's their last meal, and they eat like a ton of cornmeal, and then you go to eat them, and they like puke cornmeal. And while that can be delicious, it's kind of sad. So um, just salt water for me, these guys have been sitting in. Once you have everything prepped, it's very easy. We're just going to basically be throwing things together and drinking. Our muscles fra diablo and we've drunk two bottles of wine so next week please join us for a boob donzo where we'll show more boobs drink more booze and make more food and in the meantime let's eat this week's recipe was muscles fra diablo and i give it a big thumbs up a boob donzo Abu Danza with Nikki Lubarelli Abu Danza with Nikki Lubarelli Abu Danza with Nikki Lubarelli